distant time and faraway place, the planet of New Texas floats deep in space. Sky of three suns, land of precious ore, the carrion rush brought out by the score. A lawman appeared with powers of pop, wolf, puma, and bear. Protector of peace, mystic man from afar. Champion of justice, martial brave star. Disappoint me, Tex. Do you know what I do? The things that disappoint me. I'll go, I'll go. Go and disappoint me no further. Come on, fools. We're going to Star Peak. Well, Doc's just returned from Sawtooth. Yep. A few of them went down with Questron's Bactyli, the same bug that went through here a few weeks back. Oh, no. That illness is serious. Without medication, it could be fatal. Everyone gonna be all right? Yes, and it was touch and go for a while, but everyone's recovering. Come on, Yuki! Come on, Yuki! Better see what's up. All right, Fuzz. What's the ruckus? <laughs> I don't understand, Fuzz. All I see are Doc Clayton's and my turbo mules. So? Yo! Yuki, big surprise! Yuki! Supercharger! What? Superchargers? Supercharger? How? Start up new problem! Fuzzball, wait till I get my mitts on him. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Now, where is that fuzz brain? Uh. Oh, 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 fuzz make big goof. Fuzz make boo boo. I'll boo boo you, you little. Fuzz, I know you meant well. But you were wrong to touch other people's property without asking first. Do you understand, Fuzz? Uh-huh. And I think you owe an apology to JB, 3030, and especially Doc Clayton. Well, you, you mean he's gonna get off with just having to apologize? Oh, I'd throw him in jail! No, I saw it, dirty, dirty, JB. Sorry, Doc. I apologize. Did I break? 
a fix? No, no. It looks like no real harm was done. Just a little more beat up than before. Now listen to me, Fuss. First thing tomorrow morning, you're gonna remove these superchargers from the dock and JB's mules, okay? Okay. Fuss you. Must concentrate. Concentrate. <sighs> Brave star. Brave star. <sighs> Brave star. Oh. I just felt a chill. I, I think something's wrong. At Star Peak, 3030, we've got to get to the shaman pronto. Get on that mule, Doc, and follow us out. We're going to need your help. <laughs> from here because we can't get no closer to that place ah, tex look Ooh, it's a brave star <laughs> must be something big for him to be in such a hurry look they found the dark shaman Don't worry. We'll take care of you. Doc's waiting outside. Doc, quick! Something's wrong with the shaman. Yes! <laughs> Quiet, you idiot! You and that fool Seeker! He'll hear us! <laughs> it's advanced pulmonary inflammation stemming from a primary infection of Questron's bactyly. Doc, what does that mean in plain language? Shaman is ill. Seriously ill. We must get him back to Fort Carrium where he can be treated. We'll wait till nightfall, then sneak into town and grab the shaman. <laughs> How is he, Doc? He'll be just fine now, just fine. I treated him and gave him a laser injection. He'll be sleeping till noon tomorrow. Thanks, Doc. You should go home and rest. I will, but first I've got to check in at handlebars. Mmm, sounds good to me. Come on, big partner. Let's get to it. Hey, look. I know what you're thinking, but stop your worrying. The shaman couldn't be in better hands. Evening, Marshal. Get to the point, Tex. You're running out of time. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one who's out of time, Marshal. And what gives you that notion? This does. You can't win, Brave Star. You can't. We have your shaman. Harm me, and he will pay. What have you done? I've had him brought to the hexagon. Stampede is watching over him. <laughs> you tell Sarah here when you plan to return the shaman, and maybe, just maybe, I'll let you walk out of here. Oh, no, 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 no. I'll walk out of here whenever I want. I might even dance out. Right, Marshal? 30-30, put Sarah down. What? You heard me, deputy. Back off! Okay, Tex, you hold all the cards. What do you want? Give me your word that you'll get out of town by sundown tomorrow and never come back. Only if you give me your word that you'll leave the shipment of carrium alone. Carrium shipment? Uh, uh, all right. You got a deal. I'll be here tomorrow at sundown to give you a proper send-off. <laughs> Oh, 
listen to me now. You can't just quit. Listen, you don't really think the Tex is going to keep his promise to stay away from the carrium shipment? I hope not. Hmm. And how come I don't know about any shipment? Because there ain't no shipment. What? I'm hoping Tex won't be able to resist the carrium. He'll have to break his word. Oh, and once he breaks his promise, you won't have to keep yours. That's what I'm counting on. Mm, very clever. But what if he keeps his promise? Then I'll leave town. Fuzz just told me about Shaman and about your deal with Tex. You're leaving then. You tell him, Judge. I don't believe this. How can you turn your back on your responsibilities on this town? Yeah. I've got more than one kind of responsibility. You mean to the shaman? Yes. He's the one who raised me, taught me. He's the power of good on New Texas. His safety is more important than mine. Marshal, what is JB doing? What do you think you're... What's going on? <sighs> These gadgets and stun grenades are going to help me get the shaman back. I gave my word to no one. What? what? <gasps> you can't. It's too dangerous. Look, you may be the marshal around here, but I'm the judge. And with you totally hogtied by this situation, I'm the only real law left in these parts. I've got my duty too, you know. There goes quite a lady. Fuzz, go and fetch Doc Clayton. With Shaman still sick, JB's gonna need his and your help. You think she stands a chance? I don't know, but she might be the only chance we've got. Well, here goes nothing. I can't stand it! Can't stand it! What? What? I can't stand the idea of letting that carrion freighter get clean away. Yeah! <laughs> Why don't we hijack that freighter? Huh? Because I gave my word. <laughs> Thunderstick, you stay here with the rest of them dingoes and god shaman. Viper, cactus head skulls, grab a couple of dingoes and let's get that shipment to carry up. Well, there's the hexagon. Sure is a chillin' place. Ooh, looky, looky over there, JB's mule. But, but where is she? Who's not new? Okay, you bad guys. Here I come. <laughs> Takes care of the welcoming committee. Now, let's see what's inside. Looks like JB has made it this far. Guess we're going to follow. Well, well, if it isn't the lady judge, judge, drop your, your weapons now. What? Where'd she go? Spread out and find her! This should even things up. We'll be frozen like that for an hour. Just enough time to... Oh! Close, Tinhead, but no prize! You ain't getting away from me, make me judge! Marshal, the carrium shipment! Tex is come for it! What are you gonna do? That's just what I was hoping for. By breaking his word to me, Hex has cancelled our agreement. Now all bets are off. Where are you going to? Come on, we've got some stomping to do. Yeah! Hold on, guys. 
eyes. Hot and seek's been fun, fun, but the game ends here. No, it doesn't. The game ends when I say the game ends. JB, you are indeed a valiant warrior. Now what do? JB, you got anything that'll work on that cell door? Shaman, everyone, take cover. I've never tried this before. Shaman, are you all right? Yes, thanks to you. Let's get out of here. <laughs> You cannot escape me so easily, my enemy. Weak though I may be, I've recovered enough to do this. Awaken and arise, my minions. Stop them! Quick, this way! Hold on. Gave your word, Tex. Broken our bargain, and now I'm putting a stop to your plans. Try this on for size. <laughs> What's the matter, Marshal? Just thinking about your precious shaman. Slow you down. You not get me, horse face. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who gets who, Snake Woman! You just made a big mistake, Tex. Looks like you've been stopped. Think again, dimwit. If you want the shaman back, you release me right now! Did you hear me, Marshal? Let go or the shaman pays! You're the only one who's gonna pay tax. You can't use the shaman as a hostage anymore. What? what? How did you... How could you... Shaman, thank goodness you're safe. I was afraid we would never see each other again. I was troubled by the same fear. We must thank the brave warrior, JB. Thanks, JB. Somehow I knew you'd come through. My pleasure, Marshal. You've lost, Tex. Never! <laughs> is he ever gonna pay for his crimes? Oh, yes. All evil is paid for. Sometimes it takes a little longer. Right now, all we can do is take care of those that didn't get away. Hmm, me and Fuzz will round him up. And I'll take Shaman to my office and make sure that he gets proper treatment. You make sure to take care of yourself now, Shaman. Do not worry. I will. Before I leave, I must thank you for the courage and ability you showed in rescuing me. This is a talisman of courage. It is given only to the most valiant of warriors. It is yours, JB. Shaman, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Oh, no thanks are needed. 
You have earned it. Now, I must return to my home. So long. Take care. Goodbye. Goodbye. See you soon. Are you asleep? Marshals never sleep. Really? I'll remember that next time you fall asleep in my courtroom. You know, Brave Star, you took an awfully big chance today. Tell me, if Tex hadn't broken his promise, would you have kept yours? I've been asking myself the same question, but I'd like to believe that I would have kept my word. You mean you wouldn't have broken your promise, not even to save the shaman? The shaman's the one who taught me to keep my promises. But just between us, I'm glad I didn't have to decide.